Forest. You're going with Wake Forest. Folks, I'm in that mood today. Oh, Not so. a bad mood. By God, no. Great mood. But I'm going to be in that great mood of saying Wake Forest goes into Death Valley and upsets the Tigers. All right, now we're going with the big, the biggest games of the week. Number 20, Northwestern versus number 25, Wisconsin. I say Wisconsin goes in there. Well, goes they're at home. So I'm picking Wisconsin to upset Northwestern. Oh, that's weak. That's just weak. That's not necessarily upset. That's weak. I'm yep. going Northwestern to win, but that's not even that. That's weak, Chief. Hey, you well, my level. Hey, you hey. Pull the top gun. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know what? I try to pick the most uh, sensing of uh, upsets. I don't just throw an upset out there. Just I'm not just throwing for... upsets. I want you to logically think about a lot of these games. Crimson, hell, we're number one. We're going to go all the way. Nay, nay. Y- Some y- teams going to have to beat them. Some teams probably going to beat one. Of... Every one of these teams is probably going to lose one game. I don't think there's going to be a team that's going to go undefeated this whole year. Wake Forest is one of the teams that they're not a good ACC school. So guess what? They're going to go in there with a fire up there. You know what? And they're going to possibly pull off the upset. Boston College. Play a very close game against Notre Dame. I think Boston College can pull off a win this week. Okay, Mike. Uh, I got you. <laughs> I mean, like, like the only thing that I can see that's not logical is FAU in Florida. Besides that, I think my other picks are pretty logical. You, you know, kind of look at it under the light. Look, Okay, look, Mike. Um, there's a thing... Usually going on. Usually, there's only like one or two upsets in the top 25 that we see happening. You just pulled five of them. <laughs> five upsets this I week from Mike Archer. But guess what? My odds of having one upset or two upsets is very high right now. You, well, typically speaking, but we, I mean, we haven't seen stuff like that from the last really two weeks. If you want to say Arkansas, but Arkansas has got a lot of logical stuff behind it. I mean, that's I your opinion, what, no. though. I, I hey, don't... This is a, con- it's a conference game on a couple of these games. You know what? If you got upset, I think you picked a week too early. I say, I, if I were you, I would have waited until next week. I think I might actually. Uh-uh. Because, rivalry look. Rivalry week, rivalry week, yes. Rivalry week, always something but, happens. Always something crazy happens during rivalry week. But, I'm not going to chance it for that because that's weak. I'm going straight up the week before rivalry week. I'm going to say this is happening. Okay. Well, let's carry on with the show here. Number 24, USC versus number 23, Oregon. Ooh, this is going to be a pretty good game. Vegas got Oregon winning this one. I disagree. Give me the Trojans of USC. Southern Ooh, California. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's low rise upset pick. So guess what, folks? I'm going for my sixth upset pick in USC. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's such a bold upset pick, huh, Mike? Oh, uh, it's an upset pick. It's still not, you want to try to mock me? <laughs> well, I mean, I had mine already. It's just there. Yeah. All right, this is the one here. Number 15, LSU versus number 22, Ole Miss. Ole Miss is actually favored in this game. Uh, six. I don't, I don't, vain, I don't blame anybody for favoring yeah. this. Um, I got Ole Miss winning this one. Chad Kelly and Laquan Treadwell is going to tear up LSU's defense. LSU's offensive line has been pitted for the last two weeks. Like I was talking with Juicy and stuff, they haven't been able to run the ball with Leonard Fournette at all. And yeah, Leonard Fournette's not going to win the Heisman this year. And you know what? What did me and you say probably around week three or two-ish? If you stop Leonard Fournette, LSU's team is done. Yeah. Guess what? Past two teams that play against LSU stopped in the front guess what? Got beat. And they got, it's not like LSU's past two games were just close losses. LSU has been getting literally beat down by other teams physically. And I, Ole Miss, yes, they lost to Arkansas. But who hasn't lost to Arkansas in the past couple of games? Arkansas is on a roll. And they lost to uh, Memphis to Ole Miss. I gotta go to Ole Miss. Uh, I got Ole Miss too. I don't think LSU's gonna win this one here. And there's been rumblings about the firing of Les Miles. They, they're not gonna do that. You know, it, Ju- Juicy was saying be, that it'd he be, thinks. It'd be next to it possible. I say if. I, I think, here's what I think about LSU. 
they have to beat Alabama to win a national title, and Les Miles hasn't done that the last couple of years. So you're kind of left wondering. You got to get over the hump. You know, you got yeah. to beat Alabama. Would you pay fifteen million dollars to get rid of a coach that's actually having pretty decent seasons? He's just not living up all the way. Well, I biggest, wouldn't pay the fifteen I mean, million. You have a national championship team every year because I mean, you'd be just. Dominant, I mean. Yeah, but I mean, you—you—that's what every, that's what every team strives for. Every team wants to have a dynasty. You, you'd be crazy if you didn't want a dynasty in college yeah, but football. You can't, but that's the thing, though—you can't have it. I've never seen Les Miles necessarily have a bad season. Ever since he was at LSU, it'd be hard to get rid of that dude. I, I'm telling you, why would you want to get rid of somebody who who never really? Had Everybody's a bad always season. got an axe for a. Uh, Miles' job. They always want to take it away from him. It seems like every year they got the rumblings of it. But uh, last year there was even talk about that. But I mean, they had a young team last year. This year's they're still really a young team. But uh, I think if uh, maybe some coordinating changes or whatever. I mean, if you think that might help the situation, and go ahead. Well, I tell you what. I think the one thing really LSU needs the most is a new quarterback coach and a better way of recruiting quarterback. They need to get quarterbacks. That's what LSU's problem is. Because LSU's last great quarterback was Zach Mettenberger. Fantastic quarterback. Before that, you have to go all the way back to Matt Flynn to actually find a good quarterback. And that was a long time. And Matt Flynn ain't like spectacular quarterback either. He was decent. No. He, Matt Flynn was good, but he had a good team surrounding him. Yeah. He was able to get the ball to his playmakers, which I think that's kind of what you need to have. So, I mean, yeah. LSU... I mean, you want to look at all the quarterbacks that ever made to the NFL from LSU? Very few of them have actually... Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell. The biggest bust in... One of the biggest busts in NFL history. Y.E. Tittle was a good one. But that's about it. My friend, the backup for the Saints. Uh, Zach Metbrook, the backup to a rookie. So, I mean, there's not like, much. They need to find a new court, like a new quarterback coach, and a better way to recruit your quarterbacks. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Number eighteen TCU versus number seven Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield in Oklahoma is going to beat TCU. Uh, I actually got Oklahoma actually beating TCU by seventeen I points. Be TCU also. I think seventeen points actually. I don't think TCU is going to be able to stop Oklahoma. Well, Oklahoma stopped Baylor and crushed Baylor's chances of making the playoffs this year. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, so, I think Oklahoma's going to beat TC. Oklahoma's really been a good team except for that one loss at Texas, which is a very, very bad loss on your resume. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. And this one is still in the same conference. And the team we were just talking about, number 10, Baylor versus number 6, Oklahoma State. Mason Rudolph and Oklahoma State. I think they'll beat Baylor. They're playing in Stillwater. Baylor's fair by one point, but I don't think uh, Baylor's going to have enough. I don't see them stopping Oklahoma State enough to where they'll... I don't they'll... see how they could favor Baylor over Oklahoma State at all. I got to go to Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's a very good team this year. De- their defense think... actually is ranked tied fifth in the country in takeaways this year. So, in uh, Baylor, they lost their quarterback. So, I mean, but they, I mean... It really don't matter who's quarterback at Baylor as long as you get the ball to the playmakers. They'll do pretty well. So, yeah. That's what we're, we're looking at right now. So, And the game of the week. Number nine, Michigan State versus number three, Ohio State. I got the Buckeyes winning this one. Cause I think Michigan State kind of got lucky to squeak by Michigan a couple of weeks ago. I think the Buckeyes get them this week. They're playing in Ohio Stadium in Columbus. Who you got, Mike? Not so fast. I'm going Michigan State. All right. They got lucky to squeak by Michigan. They'll get lucky to squeak by Ohio State, and it'll be a very, very solid crowd in Columbus because they have they would have realized that their playoff chances have just went down the drain. Yeah, Ohio State better be careful these last two weeks. They got Michigan State then Michigan. That's not a easy way to close. That's not. It's one of the most difficult ways to end your season is against two of your rival teams like that. It's and difficult. plus, if they win both those teams, they have to play Iowa because they'll be representing the other side of the conference. Yeah, but I was going to be down and depleted after uh, after their loss. We'll see what happens. This will be fun. <laughs> Folks, watch the games, and when you watch the games, think of uh, Mike. 
And if he picks them all wrong, think, of, think how crazy he is. If he picks them all right, think of how much a genius he is. Yeah, if you pull this off, Mike, it'll be a really uh, genius effort on your part, bro. I, I think I deserve to be on Sports Center's top ten plays. Uh, top ten. I think I, I think I, I think I go tell my parents about a lottery ticket, so like we could win a lottery because it'd be crazy. Well, they might not be picking the numbers. You wouldn't be picking the numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, actually, you could tell me the numbers and. I'll go buy me a lottery Remember ticket. Not. <laughs> Why not, bro? We could have Cause like was, everything. Cause we we're, could. Cause we're radio partners, but um, I kind of, I kind of like my family to have the money, and then we could share it, and we could have everything. Like, look, dude, like, I'm just saying, I could buy my own island. Think about that. We could buy our own island, and we'll be away from everybody else. Yeah, but but. I, it just, I, I just think it'd be fun. Who wouldn't want to have their own island? Like, yeah. I got me a beach resort on my own island, you know? Yeah, but what if we go to war with some other country or something with that island? They're like, oh, you took our island, whatever, and now we go to war. What's well, like, fine? The island is not uh, have, have it yet, or we can make our own island. I think you could take sand from other places. You know what? I'm not an expert in this conversation right here, right now. Go, y'all go search on Google and y'all uh, post on the Facebook wall or send me a message on Twitter or something. I think I think it'd be a very interesting conversation. And, uh, yeah, um, Louisiana's having their govern. Well, before we go, before I start talking about the governor's race a little bit, uh, yeah, that, that, it's been making national news, in case y'all hadn't noticed that. John Bell Edwards versus David Vitter, election tomorrow, y'all go vote. So, yeah, that's, uh, what I got here. But, yeah, me and Mike, uh, after I go vote in the morning, I'm gonna head to Cajun Field. And, uh, Mike, you're bringing the whiteboard, I assume? Mike might not be going to the game, he assumes. Why? Mike might have to work. You got to be kidding me. Juicy's coming. And I, and I know, and I know, I got to be kidding everybody, huh? But it, it just so happened that this week I might have to work all the time, like the whole day instead of half the day, so I don't know. Oh my gosh. It, it, it's terrible because it's the last game I'll be able to attend because the next game is during finals week. And um, you want to talk about UL and their attendance? Wait till you go to that game and see how much <laughs> they in attendance. It's going to be. That attended, the ones that attend the game know they failed already. Well, I, I, I might actually pass. attend that game because you know what? Or actually, they might have the grade so good they can attend the game. I, I, I tell you, it's going to be dead in there because it's finals week. Nobody's gonna be in. Yeah. You know, uh, Mike, I could stop by your house and get the whiteboard if you allow me to. I would say yes, but I don't know for sure if it's happening or not. So I don't know. We're gonna go over there with no sign. I'm kind of disappointed. I, I, I said, I might still be able to go. Don't know. Don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, well,. I have to, I'm going to be in VP anyway. Tonight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I'll you have should, You should come with me to a high school football tonight on the playoffs. Well, I don't know if I, that, that seems like a long way to drive where I'm at, though. What are you talking about? I'll I have to pass you. you up. Look, I would have to go okay back and forth and stuff like that. That seems like a lot, a lot of gas burning. Uh, I drive a uh, truck, Mike. Off the radio station. No, It'll be too no, much. no. You need to calm down, sir. All right. Well, uh, anyway, let's discuss the UL Lafayette and the uh, New Mexico State game, or we call them UL. Um, I got UL Lafayette beating New Mexico State. I got your last year beating New Mexico State too. Even though it was also South Alabama, and man, this team is bad. <laughs> uh, it's just New Mexico State is just worse than They're those. Worse. So, I mean, it's 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 kind of just hey, which team's worse? But I, I, granted, UL could still somehow become bowl eligible. It's still just oh man, it's like got me scratching at the door for the got me wanting to press <laughs> that reset button real real fast. Yeah. Um, UL has to win, like I said earlier, two out of their last three games to become bowl eligible. I think they got to win. It's extremely difficult. Even though they still got to play Troy and New Mexico State, 
I'm still not saying they're going to beat New Mexico State.